And welcome back, people. Welcome back. And what I'm going to do right now, a uh, preview of Monday Night Raw. Now, tonight, tonight should be a really good night. Now, we're... We're, we're building more towards WrestleMania. It, it, it's coming together. The card is working. Uh, they're putting more focus on The Miz and John Cena now. Hopefully. Hopefully that will be like the focal point going forward, you know, the next three weeks. Oh, so let's just hope. We got three Monday Night Raws. Well, and three SmackDowns. Uh, until... Until... Uh, WrestleMania now. And before I get on Raw, I, I want to talk about SmackDown in just a minute. Uh, seeing Edge and Christian back was just phenomenal. I mean, just I, Edge and Christian were one of my favorite tag teams back in the day. Even uh, kind of competed against the Hardys in my you know favorite tag team. I I loved the Hardys in the day. I don't love them now. Uh, but Edge and Christian, I. I loved back in back then, and I, and I just absolutely love them now. The only thing is, I wish they would have done was for those with flash photography. How does that how does that go? For those, I don't, I forget how it goes. It's been so long since I've heard it. But the ten second pose or the three second pose, you know, that would have been it would have been like. Something. It would have been great. And they tagged over the weekend, and I'm sure that they done it then. Okay, moving on. On to Raw tonight. Tonight we got Daniel Bryan versus uh, Sheamus for the United States title. If Sheamus loses, he's gone. He says he'll quit. So initially, this is he's fighting for his life. Now again, we have another fight for your life type job uh, with Vicky Guerrero uh, by decree of the general manager who has to face the returning Trish Stratus. Now... Like I said last week, I don't care how you bring Trish back as long as you bring her back. She is the one person that I could care less about how she comes back because I love Trish. Period. I just always have. And you know what? Trish, you can still call me. I know you're married No, whatever. You can still call me. Chaos, chaos will still... Uh, We'll still implant that seed if you you just give him hell all all I needs two minutes. I think I can get it out in two minutes anyway. You uh you also got Snooky hosting Raw tonight. Uh, the possibility uh, that because she's lost her voice, so she may not be able to have a speaking role uh, on Raw. Uh, you also have the John Cena factor with with Snooky because they're talking on Twitter, or whatever. I don't know. Look, John Cena, you're married. You need to stay away from that. It's going to hurt your image if you get a divorce. Um, which is not actually a known, like a, a, a widely talked about fact. I guess people stay out of Cena's personal business, which is, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of. I think you should keep the lines separate. But anyway. Uh, but Snooki tweeted earlier that she lost her voice, and so who knows if she's going to be able to talk. Also, the su the suspected or the uh, the much highly discussed match between uh, Randy Orton and Mason Ryan. Uh, Mason Ryan supposedly is going to win this match whenever they do it. Now they still got a couple of weeks, so it, they might not do it tonight. They might wait and do it, you know, next week because Randy Orton is supposed to lose. So what sources say? You uh. You just kind of think, are they gonna are they gonna make Randy Orton go down in his hometown? I would. I think it draws great when the hometown guy doesn't get what he wants. So great, and I would actually have the other members of the Nexus come out and totally beat the tar out of Randy Orton, and I would have CM Punk probably pun him, say, "Hey, I can do this too." Boom. Plus, it's gonna draw more heat to Punk. Being in Randy Orton's hometown. But that's the way I would do it. You know, what the hell do I know? Oh, wait. Everything. Uh, and we also got uh, John Cena and The Miz. They're finally putting focus on them. And I hope that... Uh, I really hope that they keep the focus on them going to, into WrestleMania. But I kind of feel like The Rock's going to be in attendance tonight. I've kind of said this for the last couple of weeks. That The Rock was going to be on the show that's... 
that airs tonight, you know, or that's that's taped live tonight. And he's not going to be on the show next week, and he'll be on the show right before WrestleMania, the week before WrestleMania. Uh, and I only say that because they need The Raw to draw a little bit. I, I, I feel like he's going to be live. I don't feel like he's going to be a, a tape. Uh, I feel like if he's going to be on tape, it won't be tonight. It'll be the night, bef the the Raw before WrestleMania. But anyway, that's just how I, I feel about that. Now, um, as always, remember to come back here after Monday Night Raw. Uh, sometime, because I'll have a long, drug-out, raw review, uh, and it probably won't be up until early or, you know, late, considering on how my internet works, uh, because it's really rainy here today for some reason. Anyway, uh, so it could be early to late morning, Tuesday morning before it's up. But, just make sure you come back at least by midday Tuesday. Uh, and see what I've got going on because going into WrestleMania, my feelings could change very, very drastically. And remember, as always,